Hello, this is a first look at 3D Coat, which is a 3D painting and sculpting application similar to ZBrush. Uh, I like it because it's much, much cheaper, much, much easier to get to use, and uh, works well with lightweight models. So I'm just going to show you a basic introduction to the UI of this program. So as you can see, you have this uh, kind of bar here that shows some models you can use at the beginning, or you can import your own models and I'll just use the model they have here and we have a uh, load object uh, uh, display panel here <clears throat> so if you already have um, a UV map with your model it will come in otherwise it will create the UVs for you which is very nice you can choose the the side width and height of your textures that you're gonna have and uh, we'll just click on OK and take all the standard stuff here okay so now we have um, as you can see we have this UI we have a color picker we have some icons for moving around the screen here. If we hold down the Alt key, Alt left mouse button will orbit, Alt middle will translate, and Alt right will zoom in and out. All right. And then, uh, of course, up here you have your pen, which you can choose which kind of pen you're going to draw with. Uh, that should be similar to any kind of Photoshop type stuff. And then over here you can choose um, a material to draw with. And it's going to draw using this image that we have here in this listing as a material. So I'm going to choose this kind of um, elephant skin type thing. But it's going to use, if you have color set, it's going to use that that color. Okay, so you could say use current, current color. It's going to use this color here. So I'm going to choose, it's this color here that's in this this thing is going to influence what color it draws with. So let, let me show you, um, just we'll start drawing with this. And as you can see, I'm instantly starting to get some pretty decent effects here. Um, I'm getting some specular highlights, I'm getting some bump mapping, and uh, it's not like ZBrush where you have to do a bunch of weird funky stuff to get started. Um, you can just start painting on your model and it already looks like something decent. And if I wanted uh, to mess around with these parameters, like for example the depth, if I wanted these kind of creases in the skin to be much deeper, I could just increase this a little bit. And when I draw with that, let me zoom in here a bit. You'll see that uh, these creases are getting much, much larger. And already I'm getting something that looks pretty decent. Um, looks like a, uh, a pretty good video game character or something here. And we can, you know, change the color, make it a bit darker there. So um, there's a lot you can you can start doing. And then you could really go ahead and you could go full bore, full bore sculpting with this thing as well. Although it's not maybe to the level of ZBrush, but what you can do is, for example, I'm going to choose this material here It looks like a, a pin cushion or whatever, and then I'll use these icons here to manipulate the texture that we're going to paint with. So now I can line this texture up exactly where we want it. All right, I'm going to increase the depth to a great degree, and now I'll start painting. And now you won't be able to see it too well here, but when I rotate this view around, you'll see that these, it's not just painting and making a bump map, it's actually displacing the geometry. And if I were to hit the uh, control key and and do the same painting operation, you'll see that it's indenting the geometry. So now I can go ahead and add a whole bunch of detail with, to my model without having to model that detail. All right, so you get to, you get to, to make very, very complex textures and uh, depth maps very very quickly and easily with the software all right and of course you have your layers here you can make a layer and you can go to town with this layer and then if you don't want if you don't like what has happened you can just easily go ahead and delete that layer oops it looks like I didn't add it I wonder if I crashed here nope there we go now that layer is gone so you can you can easily play around with it and uh, do things in a non-destructive manner <clears throat> so there's actually quite a, a few tools here that you can you have a clone brush you have a, a path brush and um, if you want to go ahead and, and draw with the path brush for example you could just click on that and start drawing this path and then you just hit enter and it will draw the curve for you hit escape to drop that alright so now you can there's just a lot of different drawing tools that you there's a fill tool which I won't do here because it takes a long time to fill things but it's pretty easy to use and as you can see already we've started well of course I'm just playing around and getting this funky thing but um, 
you can do that and uh, the good thing about it is it, it, it imports light wave objects directly it exports uh, light wave objects directly and uh, you can export and save just the textures if you wish or you can uh, save the, the model with the textures now the, the one thing I've been having trouble with so far which I haven't uh, uh, figured out too much is uh, I've been having good luck with exporting the textures and whatnot but the depth uh, stuff I can't get the depth to look in light wave like it does in here so that's why I haven't uh, called this a full-blown review or tutorial yet because I, I have just barely started using the software but it's pretty neat um, I think it's only like a hundred dollars or something like that so uh, if, if you're into light wave um, I would say this is a really good uh, good program to use because it works so well with light wave and it uh, it operates pretty pretty well with it and it's really really cheap um, you can you can start getting good results right away and uh, you don't have to mess with things um, and also you know just to support uh, developers of, of the lightwave community since uh, we're the last lone uh, independent software out there now that Autodesk has bought up soft image so um, it's pretty cool to, to have lightwave uh, in, increase and grow so uh, I would definitely check out a 3d code the only thing is if you're an English speaker um, the uh, the help manual and tutorials and some of the things online are in very very broken English uh, at some points and may be difficult to understand if you're just starting out but the software is pretty intuitive so I don't think I have any problems so that is an introduction to 3d code